Hi guys, um, it's Erin again, and per your request from my last video, today we're going to talk about the creation story according to Norse mythology. In the beginning, there was Ganungagap, and to the north, there was Niflheim, which was a land of terrible cold and darkness. And to the south, there was Muspelheim, which was a place of unbearable heat and flames. From Muspelheim flowed rivers of fire that contained bitter poison and little by little it gathered to form a solid mass, and the ice from the north covered that mass. Then the heat from Muspelheim began to melt the frost, and from that the giant Ymir was created of poison and ice. Ymir became the father of all giants. The night that he was created, he fell asleep and began to sweat, and from under his left arm a man and woman were created, who were also giants like him. From the same block of ice that Ymir was born, another creature was created which was the great cow, Adumla. In order to nourish herself, Adumla started to lick the block of ice. She found human hairs, and as she continued licking, she found a whole being. This being was known as Buri. Buri had a son named Bor, who went on to marry Ymir's daughter, Besla. Together, they fathered three children, Odin, Vili, and Bi. Immediately, Bor's three sons rebelled against their creators. They killed Ymir, and so much blood flowed from his body that it drowned all of the other giants. Except for two, a man and a woman, and they created a new race of giants. After Ymir's death, Bor's three sons raised him from the depths of the ocean of blood. They used him to create Earth, which was known as Midgard, or Middle Earth, because it was located halfway between Niflhelm and Muspelhelm. Ymir became the earth that we live on. His blood became the oceans, his bones the mountains, his hair became the trees and bushes, and his skull was raised on four bones to create the heavens. In the heavens, they kept the sparks that escaped from Muspelheim. These sparks became the sun, the moon, and the stars in the sky. Soon after, other gods joined Odin, Billy, and Bee. They seemed to come from the abyss with no father and mother. Together they created their dwelling place, known as Asgard, the dwelling of the Azir. The gods created Asgard above Midgard so that they could keep watch of the world that they were creating. In order to travel from Midgard to Asgard, they created a rainbow bridge called Bifrost, which was guarded by Heimdall. Odin, Honer, and Loder were walking across Earth and came across two hollowed-out tree trunks. Odin shaped the two tree trunks into a man and a woman and gave them breath. Honer gave them their souls and the ability to reason, and Loder gave them warmth and the colors of life. The man was called Ask and the woman Embla, and they went on to create the human race. Out of the chaos of the abyss rose the three Norns, the goddesses of fate. Their names were Erd for past, Verdandi present, and Skuld future. Erd took the form of an old woman, Verdandi took the form of a woman in her prime, and Skuld took the form of a young maiden. Together they cared for the life tree Yggdrasil, until Ragnarok when it was destined to die. At the time of the creation of the world, it was foretold that it would not be eternal. In the day of the end, Ragnarok, the earth would be torn asunder in a mighty battle between the gods of the Asir and the giants. Great battles of might and magic would be fought reducing all life to ashes. Yggdrasil would fall, sending the layers of the world crashing down. The Hound Garm, guarding the entrance to Niflheim, would flee in terror, and the dead would escape, rising again to the earth as plagues and disease to fight alongside the gods. In the end of the battle, everything would be destroyed. The gods, giants, men, and animals would cease to exist. So now that we've done the creation, please join me for a future video where we will cover another request for the ending, Ragnarok. So thanks for watching my video, and if you could please leave me some comments, rate my video, and subscribe, that would be awesome. Please don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> From Muspelheim, hmm. So in the beginning, there was Ganungagap, and, uh -huh. and to the north, there was also Niflheim. <laughs>
Okay. That's silly, Neville Hunt. 